Hey, so creating content will grow your business, period. Like, end of sentence. (laughs) It's the best way to reach your ideal client, and it's absolutely what's going to grow your business. Oftentimes, we forget as entrepreneurs, well, as people, we forget that content isn't just like a blog post. It's also a video, it's emails, it's social media, it's videos, it's stories, it's reels. It's really any time that you're communicating or talking about your business, that's content. But the important thing is that your content is relevant and valuable so that you can find customers so much easier. There's so many different tactics and ways to communicate with your audience. So it's likely that you may be doing one or two things that aren't helping you reach your ideal client, which is what we're going to talk about today is some of the common mistakes that happen when you're creating content so that you're not reaching your ideal client. But before I freak out, (laughs) mistakes are part of life, right? They're part of marketing. They're part of owning a business. It's part of fine-tuning your marketing strategy and fine-tuning everything that you're doing, learning from those mistakes, finding ways to improve and making your content better than it was before so that you're getting better results. So we're going to talk about the five common mistakes in the content creation process and how to fix them so that you get excellent results. Because that's what we all want, right? It's excellent results. (laughs) Okay, number one, not tracking your analytics. Now, y'all know I love my numbers. I'm all about figuring out what's working and what's not. And the analytics is what's going to help you with that. If you know, oh, I got an itchy nose. If you know what content your audience is responding to, then you know what con what to create more of, right? So analytics are going to help you identify which channels and which type of content that you're creating has the most potential for success. So should you be spending more time on Instagram or on Facebook? Your analytics are going to tell you that. One of the ways to track those is through Google Analytics. Um, another one is we is a program we use and it's called Metricool. So Either way, with either one of those, you can track where people are coming from, how long they're spending time on each page of your content. You can see which pages are converting, you know, number of views, all sorts of great things. But if you're not ready for an advanced tool like that, just start with using the analytics that are native to the individual social media platforms, um, like Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or whatever the platform. But make sure you're looking at your numbers so you know what's working. That's so, so important. Okay, second thing. Posting content that isn't relevant to your audience. It is essential that you make sure that the content that you're posting is relevant to your audience and not just something that only you find interesting. When you're not paying attention to what your audience wants from you, you're going to miss out on attracting the right clients. So I talk a lot about this in the Content Simplified Academy about um, your ideal client. And I know that Everyone and their dog talks about their ideal client, but it's because it's so, so important. You have to know the one person that you're talking to when you're creating content. Um, It's going to make it a million times easier to create content when you know who you're talking to. So third, choosing the wrong distribution channel. So you might have a ton of content that you want to share with your audience, but it's essential (laughs) to make sure that you're, you're on the proper channels. For example, If you're not posting to content or if you're not posting your content on Facebook every single day, uh, let me rephrase that. If you're posting your content on Facebook every single day, but your audience is actually on TikTok, you're not really going to get so much attention and vice versa, right? If you're spending all of your time on TikTok because it's so fun to create videos, but your audience isn't there and your audience is really on Instagram or LinkedIn, you're not going to get a whole lot of success. So you need to know what channels your audience is on and um, where they engage with you the most. Now that distribution plan doesn't have to be complicated. It just need to make sure that you're reaching the right audience and that you're gaining the traction that that you want to, um, that the sales are coming in, that your visibility is increasing, all sorts of those things. So this is actually where content repurposing comes in because it's going to help you get your content in the right channel and to the right audience much faster. Okay, number four, forgetting to include a call to action. Now, there's so many of us that we just want to give, 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 right? We don't spend, we don't give the ask part. And if you're not asking people for something, they're most likely not going to do it. So if you're not asking people to sign up for your newsletter or to follow you on other social media channels, they probably won't do it. So um, 
it's important that you make a list of what your call to actions, what you want them to be. Now, I list those out for my team every single month because they're always changing. Sometimes it's join my group. Sometimes it's come to this free training. Sometimes it's uh, make sure we're connected on LinkedIn. It changes up and um, most people's do, <laughs> but make sure that at least once a week, you are giving a call to action on social media. And then every time that you're creating a video or a blog post that you're doing a call to action. Now, again, it doesn't always have to be something that's like, buy from me, buy from me, purchase my product. Um, it can be something simple or free, such as join my newsletter list, um, join my free group, come to my next free training, something like that. But make sure that you are giving the ask um, in your content as well. Okay, last not posting enough content. So oftentimes we have people that come to us and they'll say, I'm posting on Facebook, you know, one or two times a month and I'm really not getting much traction or attention. Chances are you need to be posting more frequently. And that's usually what we tell people. Your audience wants to hear from you. They want to be part of your community. But if you're not showing up or you're only showing up sporadically, then you're not going to get it. And it's going to be hard um, to have that consistency with your followers when you're not showing up consistent, consistently either. So the best way to fix this that we have found is to schedule your social media posts and write your content ahead of time so that you're not doing things every single day, that you're really focused on once a month, coming up with all of your topics for your social media, and then once a week scheduling everything and creating your videos. So we talk a lot about that in the Content Simplified Academy as well, how to structure your days and your time so that you're not spending all of your time creating content. Um, at the very least, pick a time on your calendar right now so that you are spending time with your content every single week. Okay, so still stuck, still want more information, you're ready for the next thing <laughs> on September 1st inside the Content with Christy group. Um, I am doing a free training, no strings attached. It's just a free training. It's just my opportunity to pour into you and love on my people and talk all things content repurposing and how to make it simple because content repurposing is my jam. I get so freaking excited about it. So mark your calendar for the event, um, respond going to the event, turn on the notifications for the group so that you don't miss anything. Um, full disclosure, I will be making an offer at the end, but you can still come to the training and learn all the things because it's going to be, it's going to be great. I just, I, I light up when I talk about content repurposing. So that is it. I hope you have a great week. See you.